we're going to talk about occipital pain. So the occiput is, if you put your head hand on the back of your head right here, that back bone, back part of your skull is called the occiput. And this is a source or a location of pain for a lot of people. So different terms that might be used to describe pain there, you might, you might, might be called occipital headaches, they might be called uh, occipital neuralgia. Um, I've heard some people refer to this pain as some, being a problem with the suboccipital triangle. Um, and some people don't care, they just call it headaches, right? Headaches, or I've heard some people call that neck pain, but technically, that's the back of your skull, and underneath that is a little muscle group, and those, that's a source of pain for a lot of people. Now the question is, what to do about that? And I've seen a lot of different therapies um, that people use, and, and a lot of it involves working on those muscles there. Um, in other words, like, there's some sort of problem with those muscles. The question I always ask when people have that is, yes, yes, I agree, you can probably touch those muscles and it can hurt, and working on them can either inflame it or it might make you feel better. But the problem keeps coming back, you have to wonder, what is it about those muscles, right? They're little muscles, you're not lifting any weight that's, that's um, you know, our heads are heavy, but our bodies are meant to lift them, aren't they? Yes, your body is meant to lift your head. Those little muscles are should be adequate to do the job. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is your body is meant to be able to hold the head up from the whole spine being in, a, in, a, in its proper arrangement. But what we find is most people's spine is not in a proper arrangement. Most people, starting from a young age, start to lose the, the, the alignment or the arrangement of the bones in their spine, and other parts of the body start to lose their proper positioning. Right, so when you see someone who's uh, 60 years old, chances are that they're going to be hunched over, shoulders forward, head forward. And that doesn't start when they're 60, by the way. When does that start? It starts as soon as you're uh, working against gravity, as soon as you start walking. So anyways, imagine this. Imagine you've got to carry a weight, which is about a 10 or 11% of your body weight, on a pole. So think about what that means for me. That would be a 15-pound weight on top of a pole. That's about a little less than six feet tall. Well, as long as that thing is straight up, it doesn't take much effort. What happens when that ball starts to roll over? Well, now we're going to have to work very hard to keep that weight maintained on the top of that pole. That's exactly what's happening in this condition. When we have our bodies lose their optimal alignment, what happens is they tend to come forward. They tend to twist and turn. If you've been somewhere and had an x-ray, they'll say, oh, you lost the curves of your neck. And instead of looking at, instead of looking at the rest of your body, they just focus on what's happening in the neck or on these muscles and work on them, work on them. Wonderful, work on them, that's fine. What are you doing to help that person long term? Well, the thing is, these muscles are doing their job. They're trying to, your body has a strong desire to keep the eyes level and to keep them forward on the horizon. It's called the riding reflex. It's completely makes sense. It's not like you have a problem that tilts you over and your head just stays sideways. Your body's going to try to rectify that right up here at these top bones in the neck, which is why a lot of people just work on the very top of the neck. It's fine because it helps people. It's not great because it doesn't really solve the problem. You're, you're trying to counteract what the body's trying to do, and that's never a good solution. What you should do is figure out why the body's doing such a thing. And what you often find is that these are problems, postural problems. The postural problems have to be addressed from the head. In fact, yeah, all the way pretty much from the head all the way down to the toes. If you're missing something there, you're not going to address the entire problem. So what we do with advanced biostructural correction is we have a means of finding where there are misalignments the body cannot correct. And you start to bring those up head to toe. And what you'll find is the body doesn't just lean forward. It's twists and turns and things come forward. And as you do that, you can watch the body. If you were to do frame by frame, um, you can watch the body start to twist and turn, twist and turn. But over time, that twist and turn is winding it back towards a neutral, upright, light position. When we have that, the head is sitting on top of its supporting structures. The muscles up here don't have to be, they don't have to work so hard. And I'm, I'm saying the muscles, there's actually a lot of other things there. There's connective tissue and uh, uh, joint problems too, but most people are gonna kind of run to the muscles and say it's a muscle problem. It's not, there's, there's a whole combination of things that can happen there. It doesn't matter. When you get the body upright, all those structures are back into the normal position things are structurally stable, none of those structures are under undue stress or have to work too hard, and this problem goes away. In the meanwhile, when someone comes in, if they're struggling with that, postural correction can take a little while, so sometimes we will do um, some corrective measures through adjustments or stretches in the very top to take the pressure off until we can get that, body's, that person's body back underneath their head. So occipital neuralgia, occipital headaches, occipital pain, pain in the back of the head, a suboccipital triangle, muscle problem, 
Anything you're doing that is working on this problem that does not address the whole entire body is missing the point. If you'd like to learn more about structural correction or posture correction, you can go to my website, www.alambonia.com forward slash posture. Um, there you can see pictures of what postural correction look, should look like, what it should feel like, um, a little bit of insight to what we do. And if you'd like to know more, feel free to give us a call. I look forward to meeting you. Talk to you soon.